So we saw how we can uh, check something from the argv from the command line, but uh, if you would like to uh, provide several parameters on, on the command line, then uh, going over the elements of argv, of at argv, is a bit too much work. And um, especially, you can't, uh, you ha if you have like five or seven parameters, the user will have to remember the order because now you're expecting them in a, in a specific order. And not only that, if you, uh, some of these are optional parameters, only the last uh, ones can be optional. You can't make the first one really optional because then uh, you can't not give the first one and give the second, it's not possible. But there is a much better way, a much better standard way to provide uh, command line options. And uh, the usual way is that you put a flag minus uh, and a name and um, minus x uh, or minus c for example for color. And then after that, that you will provide the actual name of the, the color. Or uh, if you want to be even more user friendly, then you allow the user to type in the, the word color in, or, in order to be able to provide the, uh, the exact value. So, but then usually the systems are working with two dashes. So usually the, that in that case the command line options look like minus minus color uh, like in this case. So again you can parse at argv yourself and find all these uh, parameters and then the value after it but it's a bit too much work and for that there is a module and there's a standard module called get opt long actually there are a couple of uh, modules uh, dealing with the same problem space uh, but i'm showing this one right now and you can later on figure out maybe something else that might better fit the way you work so get opt long provides a function called get options and in this case we use it to uh, the use the module and load that specific function and then the way we work, we use it is that we call the get options function and then we provide it uh, key value pairs with an arrow in the fat arrow between them. The key part is um, the declaration of what kind of option we are expecting or we are ready to uh, accept. In this case, uh, the color means that we are uh, uh, ready to accept a minus minus color uh, option. The minus minus is not written here because that's something that that's the default and you can actually configure it in within get options but we don't see that here here so we just provide a name color and the equal s here means that uh, the there is a, a requirement to put a value a string value just after the minus minus color so if you provide for example minus minus color without uh, an actual color that would be an error case uh, for get options and then the other, other side of the arrow, there is a scalar variable, actually with a backslash in front of it. That's a, a scalar reference. We don't uh, deal with, uh, with references really here, but uh, this function works with scalar references, so I had to, to show it. And for now, we just accept it, that this is how the way it works. So we first declare the variable, and then here we pass a reference to that variable this function and what will happen that is that this function will actually look at what what is inside at argv and will look for a minus minus color if it doesn't find a minus minus color then nothing happens the, the this uh, function goes on if it finds a minus minus color and some value after it then that value will be placed within this dollar color variable and then the script will go on and the rest of the script is just the same as earlier. The only thing we changed here is really the how we process uh, the command line. So, what is this or die part? Get options itself returns true or false whether it was successful or failure or failed. So, what failure cases can be? If the user doesn't provide minus minus color, that's not a failure because this is an option. So it's it's just optional. The other cases might be if the user provides uh, something like minus minus machine and because we haven't declared that we are expecting a machine option, it will mean that get, get options will return false. 
and then you it's up to you what uh, you do with this so you can disregard it or as in my case in this case uh, we wrote or die so we throw an exception we kill the, the, the script with this message usage and then the name is remember in the previous slides dollar zero is holding the name of the script so in this case it will be process underscore command line pl um, probably with the path to it so it will print out the name of the script I just ran and then in, in the square brackets it will print out uh, this information that will hopefully uh, let uh, the user understand that that uh, she or he has to provide a minus or can provide this option and uh, a value after it so one error case was when the user provides some minus minus option that's not listed here uh, in the declarations the other option the option case might be if the user provides minus minus color but doesn't provide an actual value because equal s means that you have to provide a value so that's uh, that's about get options and just uh, let me switch to the doc to the command line and and see how Perl doc Perl doc get opt long is the documentation so this is uh, let me quit again this is the way you can uh, read the documentation of the module you type in Perl doc and the name of the module just make sure that you type in case sensitive even on Windows and then here is uh, in the synopsis you'll see an example how to use it so you see get options and it has you see this uh, the name value pairs so in within one call if you have several options you would like to accept several options you put it in within one call and you say key value key value and as you can see there is a verbose flag in this where it doesn't have an equal s so it would place in this verbose true or false with would actually what would happen if is that the verbose flag re will remain as it is if the if verbose wasn't given if minus minus verbose wasn't given and if it was then it would turn to be one or some other true value and file s equal s means that this variable gets uh, uh, so my, the minus minus flag has to have a, a string after it and length equal i means that there can be a length minus minus length parameter and it has a, a number it needs to be a number after it